Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm David Knight. It's Tuesday, March 26, 2013, and here are our top stories. Tonight, Big Sis is attempting to exhaust ammo supplies. Plus, it looks like looting of bank accounts is a template for the EU. And Guccifer emails link Tony Blair to top secret Bohemian Grove gathering. That's up next on the InfoWars Nightly News. Well, the massive buildup by Homeland Security of ammunition is a story that just keeps going. Today, a weapons manufacturer on the Savage Nation radio show, who described himself as a defense contractor and licensed weapons manufacturer, said the goal was to control the amount of ammo that's available on the commercial market at any one time by forcing manufacturers to hold back stock. He also noted that the State Department and the ATF were making it harder to import ammunition from overseas. And here's the most interesting thing. He says, the deals that DHS is agreeing with manufacturers are based on have indefinite delivery and indefinite quantity, allowing the feds to monopolize the market on ammo by preventing companies from selling the bullets to the commercial market. Now, this is essentially taking an option and tying up the stock. And if you look at what he's talking about with the import controls, uh, this is yet another way, and this also ties in with the UN Arms Trade Treaty, which is now underway again, uh, something that has been on the horizon for several years now. And the point of the UN Arms Trade Treaty is to stop the flow of weapons across borders. And that's not only large-scale weapons, but small arms and definitely ammunition. Your arms are no good if you don't have any ammunition. And if you look at what's happened with uh, the Obama administration, going back to the very early days of the administration, uh, they even stopped the resell of used brass, crushing it into scrap metal. Now, when that started in 2009, some senators got that reinstated, and all the forts were supposed to do that, but we know of at least one fort, it broke at the end of uh, 2012, Fort Drum in New York, is still paying extra to crush the brass and then sell it at a much lower rate to the Chinese as scrap metal rather than recycling it through and giving it to the ammunition market. But this is something that uh, they've tried to defend this with uh, three different ways. They've said that it's not real. Well, these are real purchases. We linked to it on our articles as we broke the story, as Paul Joseph Watson found this in the uh, federal uh, websites for RFPs. He showed the actual request for purchases so people can see those themselves by following the links. They also said that uh, this is a small quantity of uh, bullets and it, it doesn't really matter. It's just for target practice. Well, these are, this is not the quantity of bullets that you'd be using for target practice, and they're not the type of bullets that would be used for target practice. These are hollow point bullets, and they cost two to four times as much as full metal jackets, and you don't target practice with these. As a matter of fact, you don't use them in the military because they're outlawed by Geneva Convention. They're just used by governments against their own people. And the last thing they said was, well, we're doing this, buying this in bulk in order to save money. Well, the quantities that they're looking at, if they are saying that they're using it for target practice, it would be roughly equivalent to about 100 years' supply. You don't buy that much at one time to save money. And if you're looking at something to put down civil unrest, this is equivalent to 24 years of use during the peak year of the Iraq War. So there's some real questions here, and it's starting to build, not just with reports, but it's starting to build with congressional inquiry. First there was one congressman, then two. Now it's up to 15 congressmen are asking questions, like what is this for? And even Forbes magazine has said we need to have a national dialogue to see what Homeland Security is up to. In the same article, we have a quote from a California congressman, Doug LaMalfa, and he said that this is being conducted in a manner that strategically denies the American people access to ammunition. And so the question is, is Homeland Security buying this up because they're anticipating a civil war? Or are they trying to enact gun control legislation by non-legislative means? In other words, it's not enough for them to just go around the Bill of Rights or the Constitution. They're not even going to use the legislature to enact this. They're going to do it by covert means. What these people are is Fabian socialists and Fabian tyrants. They are gradually and surreptitiously achieving their goals, and they will do it however they can. You know, you don't have to ban cars. You just... Uh, 
make the gasoline unavailable or unaffordable if you want to stop people from driving. That's essentially what they're doing with ammunition.